Hello everybody, this is Flaming Kong, and welcome to a new Let's Play. <sighs> yep, Super Mario 3D World. And I'll explain if you guys are mad. I'm going to explain very shortly why I'm doing this. My controller wasn't turning on. Anyway, this is Super Mario 3D World, and don't look at how many lives I lost there. The Wii U consoles? Okay, cool. I'm playing using a pro controller, and we're gonna start off this game with Mario, but before we start, you guys are probably wondering what exactly am I doing? Well, um, I decided I want to do another walkthrough, and I'm not going to be having a schedule anymore, so I'm just going to record whatever Let's Plays I want at any time, so that would be really cool. So now I can play any four of my, um, walkthroughs whenever, sort of like when I first started. I just think it will be much better. So, I'm playing Super Mario 3D World. Because I love this game. I love it a lot. And one of the main reasons I'm doing a walkthrough slash I'm doing a let's play of it is because like I want to change most of my subscribers opinions on this game because I know a lot of them are kind of biased about this game. They don't like it that much. They think it's the worst 3D Mario game ever, when I think it almost beats 64, which is crazy to say. I said almost. It doesn't beat Mario 64. But it does beat Galaxy 2, and it does beat Sunshine for me. My opinion, of course. So to me, um, the only 3D Mario games that beat this are Galaxy, the original, and 64 by Tiny Bit. So pretty much, we're going into this new world. You can already see the game's a lot different. We saw Bowser and we saw a little fairy guy. Girl, that is. And that's pretty much who we're saving in this world. It's called the Sprixie Kingdom. The first fairy we must save is the green fairy. Sprixie, it is actually called. So I'm going to be picking random for every, oh, Toad, for every single level. So I'm not going to be 100%ing this game because if you've played this game, you know to 100% this game, you have to actually beat it every level with all four characters, which to me is kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to be getting four stars on this game instead of five. Five, you get your fifth star by playing with every character. So, pretty much, um, instead of star, like, the star coins of New Super Mario Bros, we have green stars. And, we have stamps. And stamps are pretty cool, I'll show you what they do after this level. This walkthrough is probably going to go pretty quick. If I'm playing alone, I can go a lot faster. Come on, Lenny. Run. So one up in there. And that's pretty much it for this level. Cl and the cat suit, of course. Who can forget the cat suit? It's one of my favorite power ups 
of all time in Mario. It's really cool. And, yeah. And, of course, you can play as the fourth character from Mario Bros. 2 USA. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Blue Toad. Our first C stamps. I believe there's like 90-some stamps. I don't know for sure. Five of them we won't be getting because... In order to get those stamps, you have to beat... Um... All the levels with that exact character. Basically the character stamps. And now we're playing as Peach. If you oh, I should probably talk about the attributes of each character. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Um, Mario is like balanced. Luigi can jump high. Peach can fly, and she's the slowest. And then Blue Toad can barely jump, and he's the fastest. I think my least favorite is probably Peach, because I hate slow characters. And... My favorite is probably Luigi, because... Oh. Holding a shell for some reason. So, I did start a versus on this game before. So, you've seen me play this game before, and I'm quite good at it. I think I was beating Donkey Kazooie by a whole entire world. I still have those, like, videos uploaded, just they're on a- they're in a private playlist, since we're not continuing that. I decided I'd do a Let's Play of it, because I love this game. It is so much fun. And... Not to, like, spoil anything, but they're secret worlds. Oh, guess who I just got a Skype message from? It was, um, Don DK64 Galaxy, and he asked what the new walkthrough was. <laughs> well, DK64 Galaxy, I uh, just happened to be recording it at the very moment that you asked. I would reply to him. If he tries calling, I'm probably going to stop the video for a second, because... <gasps> Mario! I already have a playlist created, so if you really wanted to know, he could just look at that. I think I created a playlist a while ago, actually. little baby Mario now. I think since I barely played as Mario on that level, I'm probably gonna play as him on the third level also. Because that just wouldn't be fair. <laughs> this is this is gonna be Mario's spotlight. Welcome to the Toad House. I think it's gonna be small. Ooh, I was right. We're gonna be Kitty Cat Mario. I don't think DK64 Galaxy really cares about this game though, so... Um, he probably won't be too excited. Anyway, in this game... You... To actually unlock the final world... Okay. Well... I didn't think very well. I said I was gonna play as Mario and I didn't. Forget it. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Secret 1-Up. Pal Block. So if you haven't played this game and you own a Wii U, it's pretty much the Wii U's best game right now. A lot of people would argue that it's Tropical Freeze 
or Mario Kart 8. I do like Tropical Freeze a lot, but I think the main reason I like it is just because of the music. It's probably my favorite music like ever in any game. It's amazing music. This game has amazing music too, but it's very similar to 3D Land, so it's nothing special. And if I play very similar to when I did the verses, it's probably because I know World 1 very well. I know the beginning of the game very well, pretty much. The end, not so much. So let's keep on going. There are certain um, stages that I actually won't pick a random character because you actually need a specific character in some stages to get some collectibles. I'm also going to be getting all gold flags and that's why catsuit's pretty important. Castle, you can actually climb up flagpole. And if you're annoyed that I'm not doing the schedule anymore, you really shouldn't be because now, like, you don't, if, like, you like watching a specific walkthrough that I'm doing, or let's play that I'm doing, you won't have to just go to that specific, like, place really a uh, specific week and you won't have to wait so that's good I think it's good that I'm doing it now peach hop on plessy to head for the goal control your speed by using up and down on the left stick or the d-pad Jump by pressing B or 2. When playing with friends, you have to work together. But I don't have any friends. Poor me. First. This reminds me of... Something. I don't remember what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. Let's get the one up. One up time. This level you actually have to do twice, so I'm going to cut like it out. So you won't have to watch me doing it all. That'd be pretty annoying, I think. Even though I do that stuff all the time, I don't cut things out. <sighs> In the verses, I remember I had really big trouble with that third green star, and I had to do this level like three times or four. I don't even remember how many times I had to do it. Oh my god. Okay, let's do that again. That's pretty difficult to actually get on the flag. Anyway, I will meet you guys back at the stamp shortly. After we get this path cleared away. Be right back. Okay, so now we're going to get the stamp, which to get the stamp you have to go the other way. And there we go. So I'll see you guys at the end of the level. 
It's a little slot machine there. Probably not going to do that right now. See what we get. Looks like we're not playing as Mario at all. We don't care about Mario. He can he can die. Okay. The way I'm doing this is completely weird. What the heck? Go in. Thank you, Mario. Luigi. Man, it's just Luigi everything, dude. Finish Paper Mario 1000 Your Door with Luigi. Playing as Luigi. Here. Playing Luigi Galaxy. Doing Luigi everything, pretty much. <laughs> This is a circus themed level if it wasn't already obvious enough. Get this. Trying to, I don't know. It's hard to. It's... Oh yeah. Um, if you're excited for this walkthrough, good for you, because I am too. There we go. I was wondering what was wrong with that. And let's go into the last level. Okay. There we go. Doing pretty good so far. I'm not gonna do that toad thing until near the end of my walkthrough. So that's gonna be like a separate video. So for now, we're just gonna go on to the castle of First World. Hopefully we'll get Mario. Or we can be Peach again. That works too. This is Bowser's castle. If it wasn't already obvious enough, this is a coin ring. You have to collect all the coins before the timer runs out, or you won't get the green star. Okay, we lost our cat suit. Not very cool. It's actually not cool at all. Let's see if there's a cat suit here. Okay, thank goodness. I thought I was screwed. We're good. I don't know how long this video is. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it's too long. Ugh. And here we go. Could be we're about to fight Bowser. Now I don't think every video is going to be a world. 
Um, uh, this video can be a world. Because I want it to be. And it's pretty short. It's a lot shorter than the other worlds. Well, not really. It's not that much shorter. Anyway, you gotta hit this guy. This Bowser guy. This evil Bowser guy. He's a pretty bad guy. He's pretty mean. And Bowser is defeated. Three hits as usual. However, I believe if you don't, like, claw him or roll into him, he will actually take more hits. I don't know how many, because I always have the cat suit when I defeat Bowser. I'm not going to get all those coins. It's not a big deal. And there's the little Sprixy princess we have to rescue. So for those who like want to see Captain Toad, you're just going to have to wait until the end when I do all the Captain Toad missions. So that's the thing. Yeah. Except for one. Because there's one that you can't get. Unless you beat all the others. First. And that's the last world of the game. <laughs> and we beat half of this world with Peach. For some reason. And we didn't use Mario at all. Except for that short tiny battle. I feel kind of bad for Mario. But eh. No big deal. Anyway, before I end this episode off, I'm actually going to show you guys a secret exit in this world. So, I'll be right back. Hello guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you the secret exit in 1-2, where you have to climb up here and go into this pipe. And in level 1-2, like I said already... And that's basically it. So that will lead you to World 2. So if you want to skip most of the levels in World 1, if you're speedrunning or whatever, you can. So, there's the little yellow Sprixie princess. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.